You're thinking about relocating to Western North Carolina, but maybe Asheville is not quite the right fit for you? Breaking news, there's plenty of other towns all around Asheville that are equally beautiful and very close to Asheville. Hi, this is Elena Kavrigin with Nesting Dolls Realty at Realty One Group Pivot here in Asheville, North Carolina. If this is your first time on my channel and you want to know everything about living in Asheville, breathing, playing, working, going to school, having a baby, you need to click that subscribe button and hit a little bell to get notified every time I post a new video. I love getting phone calls, text messages, and emails from people who are thinking about moving to Asheville. So if you need any kind of help, text me, email me. My information is right here. I got your back here in Asheville, North Carolina. In this video, I'm gonna tell you about um, eight different towns that are all around Asheville. Weaverville is about 15 minutes north of Asheville. It's probably one of the closest towns to Asheville. It's very small, very quaint, very pretty, pretty much just like any of all other towns around Asheville. The population of Weaverville is about 4,000 people and it's about three and a half square miles in size. Just like Asheville, Weaverville is also within Buncombe County. Median sales price in Weaverville is about $330,000. It really feels just like a big suburb of Asheville with its own Main Street. Main Street offers a lot of visitors with some impressive restaurants, galleries, and art studios. And what's nice about Weaverville, like I said, it's very close to Asheville itself, and then it's about 10 minutes away from Blue Ridge Parkway. So you can actually access Weaverville from either Highway or Merriman Avenue or I-25, or you can hop on Blue Ridge Parkway and one of the exits will be for Weaverville. Weaverville, like I said, is very small and streets that go off uh, from Main Street kind of remind you of a little town, but because it's surrounded by mountains very close to each other, you start seeing homes up on top of the mountain, up on top of the hill uh, with great views. And as you, if you keep going, you'll see some farms, farmland, farm animals. So it's really pretty there. And plus the connection to Blue Ridge Parkway makes it such a great place. Black Mountain is about 20 minutes east of Asheville and is also located in Buncombe County. Population of about 8,000 people live on almost seven square miles of the area. Median sales price in Black Mountain is about $280,000. Black Mountain is known as the front porch of the Blue Ridge Mountains. It's super quaint, laid back, friendly kind of feel with small town welcoming vibe. It's really an artist mecca with multiple galleries showcasing some of the region's best southern Appalachian arts and crafts. By the way, I really am not sure if I'm pronouncing Appalachian or Appalachian. So tell me your thoughts, locals, local alert. Put it in the comments. How do you say it? Appalachian or Appalachian? I know I'm gonna get a lot of heat for that. Again, Black Mountain has a very cute, very small, small town feel downtown and Lake Tomahawk that's right next to downtown basically. It offers well-lighted level path for safe strolling for day or evening. So it's really nice and there's also a community pool right next to the lake. So that's available to everyone who basically lives there. If you start moving south, you first you'll get to Fletcher. Fletcher is about 25 minutes south from downtown Asheville. And Fletcher really doesn't have a downtown or a main street. I mean, there's a town hall and a big clock tower, but that's about it. Fletcher is a pretty big area for just like a suburb or a town without a main street even. 8,000 people in Fletcher live on about six and a half square miles of space. Median sales price in Fletcher is about $325,000. 
And now Fletcher is located in Henderson County, not Buncombe County. So that's a completely different county with completely different taxes. Now, when you start driving through Fletcher's main roads, such as Airport Road or I-25 or Hendersonville Road, um, you might wonder, well, what is this area? It really looks very commercial-like and industrial-like. On one hand, Airport Road has all the stores, all the commercial stuff going on bunch of shopping, bunch of restaurants, airport is right there, uh, Western North Carolina Ag Center is right there. The same kind of goes for Henderson Road. You'll see a lot of industrial stuff going on um, and you wonder like do people even live here? But if you take left or right on one of these roads and start just going into inside, into the community, away from the main arteries, and away from the main roads, you'll see a lot of residential areas. Fletcher's residential area is really a combination of farmland with cornfields and stuff like that, or homes with nice acreage, and some pocket neighborhoods and neighborhoods with cookie cutter kind of home styles that pretty much all look like this. Um, that are super family friendly. The, some of them are pretty big. Some of them have community pools and stuff like that. So it's a very family friendly area with access to kind of best of bo both worlds. Asheville on one side, Hendersonville on the other side. Airport is right there. All the amenities there. Access to great schools either south in South Buncombe or Hendersonville or Henderson County schools. So it's a very family friendly area. If you keep moving south and uh, about 35 minutes from downtown Asheville, you'll finally get to Hendersonville. And obviously Hendersonville is also in Henderson County with Henderson County taxes, property taxes and things like that. Um, population of Hendersonville is about 14,000 people and all these people live on almost seven square miles of the area. Median sales price in Hendersonville is about $279,000. Downtown Hendersonville has the second largest downtown in Western North Carolina and Asheville being the biggest. Uh, with many things to do, see and taste. Breweries, wineries, restaurants galore. It's really a great place to raise a family and it's rated for top school system and one of the best places to retire according to many different sources, magazines and articles. Hendersonville's got such a cute little downtown that's super walkable, that has all these bears on both sides of the street. We love coming to Hendersonville uh, in September for Apple Festival. And that's basically when they close the main street in Hendersonville. It's only open for pedestrians. There's a bunch of um, artists, again, local uh, people selling everything from arts and crafts to, of course, apples. It's a great place to get all kinds of apple products like apple cider, apple pies and things like that. Super fun. Uh, and it's also a fun place for adults and kids because they have a lot of attractions for kids. Everyone will be happy. <laughs> Another great thing about Hendersonville is it really positioned in such a way that it's really close to everything. It's about equal distance, about 30 minutes from Asheville, from Lake Lure, from Brevard. Greenville is and I'm talking about Greenville in South Carolina is about an hour away from Hendersonville. So those who might have a job in Greenville, for example, they can easily commute from Greenville to Hendersonville and back and forth. Because as we know, Asheville and the area in general is not known for great jobs. So keep that in mind. Hendersonville itself has some great um, luxury and mid-range communities that have wonderful breathtaking mountain views so like I said it's got the best of both bo all worlds not even both worlds all worlds <laughs> I kind of tend to think of Hendersonville as Asheville's mini me it basically has everything that Asheville has all the beauty access to nature DuPont State Forest is there Pisgah National Forest is super close 
so it has everything that Asheville has except for Asheville quirkiness, Asheville weirdness, and all those things that make Asheville Asheville and make Asheville great. You know what I'm saying? If you start moving um, southwest from downtown Asheville, about 30 minutes later, you will get to Mills River. It's probably one of the largest areas um, or, and towns uh, around Asheville. So Mills River is located in Henderson County and median sales price is about $370,000 in Mills River. About 7,000 people who live there live on almost 23 square miles of the area. So it's very large, very spacious. When you start, when you get there, um, it really feels like very spacious, four lane highway, endless fields on both sides, farms, so beautiful and so spacious. And mountains are farther on all sides, like you, you don't feel trapped. I mean, some areas like Quiverville, for example, have all these mountains around you, very close, and you see houses like on top of the mountains right away from downtown even. But we're, uh, Mills River really has these endless fields, huge properties, people have acreage there. I used to think of Mills River as just like an area that <laughs> lies between Asheville or Fle Asheville Fletcher and Brevard. They really don't have downtown again, just like Fletcher. Uh, one big intersection with a gas station and few little stores and a bank is really all there is. Uh, there is a little park right next to it, but that's about it. Not a whole lot of commercial or industrial stuff going on in Mills River, unlike Fletcher, for example. Um, it's pretty much all farmland, properties, uh, communities, subdivisions, and things like that. And Mills River is located also in Henderson County. <clears throat> if you keep going on the same four-lane highway that started as Airport Road in Asheville or Arden, South Asheville, if you keep following that, after you pass Mills River, you'll finally get to Brevard, and that's about 45-50 minutes from downtown Asheville. Brevard has a population of about 8,000 people and is about five square miles in size. Median sales price in Brevard is almost $300,000 and Brevard is located in Transylvania County. So different taxes, again, different county. Brevard is located between Pisgah National Forest, DuPont State Recreational Forest and Gorge State Park. I mean, it has endless outdoor activities such as hiking, mountain biking, waterfall hunting, fly fishing. Much of that area is pretty much a rainforest with about 90 inches of rain each year, hence about 250 waterfalls. The most visited waterfall is Looking Glass Fall and of course summer favorite Sliding Rock. Sliding Rock is a natural created rock that you sit on top and there's a waterfall going down and you slide and it, you, it just dumps you into this pool of super cold water. It's a lot of fun, but be prepared, it's gonna be very cold. Cycling is huge in Brevard and in Transylvania in general, with hundreds of miles of single track and gravel roads between Pisgah National Forest and DuPont State Park. But Brevard is not only a great place for somebody who is who loves outdoors and want to do uh, hiking and biking and explore all the great outdoors that we have, but also Brevard is a home to the world-renowned Brevard Music Center and its extraordinary summer music festival. In general, Brevard has a super vibrant live music community. They also have a white squirrel festival each year and supposedly white squirrels only live in Brevard, in Brevard area. So if you ever decide to visit Brevard or move to Brevard, be on the lookout for a white squirrel. The last area that I want to cover is west of Asheville. About 30 minutes from downtown Asheville, we have Canton. It's a super small, quaint, laid back town with a population of about 4,000 people and is occupying a little under four square miles. Median sales price in Canton is $207,000. Canton is located in Haywood County, 
So again, different taxes, different property taxes in Haywood County. Canton is the second largest town in Haywood County. Main Street of a super cute downtown in Canton has a few local restaurants, places to eat, get coffee or get some souvenirs, local stores. But unfortunately for Canton, Paper Mill is also located, I mean, basically in downtown Canton, right next to it. I feel like half of the people who live in Canton or been to Canton say that they never smell the paper mill, it's fine, no big deal. And then other half say, yeah, it smells, it stinks, um, at least at some point. Also, it feels like it depends on the wind and the area where you live, but yeah, it's there. Oh, and do you wanna hear a local joke? So people in Asheville say, ew, we smell your paper mill here in Asheville. And to that, people in Canton say, ew, we smell your patchouli all the way in Canton. <laughs> I didn't make this up, I read it online, so I think it's kind of true and funny. Moving on. So in Canton, houses are very close together or can be close together and feels kind of crowded, but when you start going on, out into the community, you are really out in the country with mountain views, less traffic, pastures, and I feel like Canton and everything west of Asheville is one of the most beautiful areas with just breathtaking views of pastures, mountains, mountainsides. Our winding roads will take you to just a really adventurous. You never know where this road might take you and each turn can open up a super beautiful, breathtaking scene of a pasture or a side of the mountain, farm and things like that. So. As you start moving out from away from downtown, you'll see all that and it's gonna, I promise you, it's gonna take your breath away with all the mountains in the back, kind of far away, not too close, um, super, super beautiful area. You keep moving west from Canton, you'll get to the largest town in Haywood County and that is Waynesville. Waynesville is also located in Haywood County, like I said, with population of about 10,000 people that live on about nine square miles. Median sales price in Waynesville is about $254,000. Waynesville also has super cute downtown, super walkable with bunch of little stores, furniture stores, local stores, restaurants, coffee shops. You can walk uh, on both sides, super beautiful. I personally love to go to Waynesville for an Apple Festival. So Hendersonville has their Apple Festival in September and Waynesville has their Apple Festival, I think um, end of October, beginning of November. And by that time, this area, our area, all around Asheville bursts in flames of all the different colors. The, it's so beautiful, it's so stunning. And if you walk down Main Street on Waynesville and you just happen to, or drive, and you just happen to look down one of the streets and you catch a glimpse of the mountain and the road going up and down like that with all that foliage that's changing colors, it's gonna take your breath away. It's literally my favorite little town for uh, later in the season Apple Festival and just go and check out all the local stuff that's going on there. Although Waynesville is kind of far from Asheville, about 50 minutes to an hour, it's super close to Maggie Valley and Kataluchiski area. So if you like to ski or snowboard, you can just get to Kataluchiski area in winter. I mean, yeah, they have artificial snow for the most part uh, because we haven't had really snow winters in the past few years, but that's an option for somebody who like to do outdoorsy things and be active all year round. Well, I think that's about it. I mean, there's a lot more little towns and villages all around Asheville and all around those towns that I talked about, but if I talk about all of them, we'll be here all day. If you have any questions, feel free to reach back to me, call me, text me, email me. Information is right there. Do not forget to hit the subscribe button and hit a little bell to get notified every time I make a new video. If you know, if you want to know everything about Asheville and what it's like to live in Asheville and the surrounding areas, check out some other videos right here and I will see you next time.